What the hell just happened, Brad? What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, what the hell's going on, Brad? Is the sky falling out of, out, of, out of nowhere? I don't know what the hell's going on, Brad. If you guys did not know, if you clicked on this video, you probably have an idea of what's going on. But if you guys definitely missed out on it, I'm going to have to let you know what happened, Brad. Today, as of today, I'll read it right here. WWE has come to terms on the releases of Braun Strowman. Yes, you heard that. Check your ears, clearing them out, get the Q-tips going, do the little spinner rooney get some alcohol, dig get out get a yeah i said braun Strowman, the monster among men alistair black lana buddy murphy ruby riot and santana garrett are all released they're all gone they're gone they're gone not here not there what am i supposed to do brad what am i supposed to do now i kind of feel bad for me saying this thank god we don't have a braun Strowman this year but i didn't know brad i didn't know he's gonna get released i mean dude what is happening you know like the first thing i thought of i took to twitter and said some stuff because one thing that i have to say is that this one is one of those that just doesn't really make sense to me um like i mean there's a few things that could call you know that, that kind of made this happen and we'll get into all those things and i'll try to you know explain what i think probably happened and apparently there's more releases coming so hopefully uh you know we don't lose any more like i hate for anybody to lose their job right so i don't even you know it's like i don't i don't want anybody to lose their job but but, you know, like, at the end of the day, WWE is a business. They do have to, you know, take care of the bottom line. And it's not like these the people in the company haven't been treated well. Like, don't get me wrong, like, some of these people have been booked like dirt, and, you know, WWE has a show. Well, maybe I shouldn't say anything. Anyways, what I was saying was, is that Braun Strowman really shocked me the most, I think. Like, of course, like, I'm stunned that Aleister Black is gone. I'm stunned that Buddy Murphy is gone. I loved Ruby Riot, right? Um, I feel like Lana, when, when Rusev left, I felt like Lana, like, she's kind of been floating for me. I feel like she probably should have left with him, but that's besides the point. Like, I understand it for, you know, money and family and all these things, but... Alistair Black and Buddy Murphy, they make more sense to me because you guys know that those are like, you know, those aren't exactly homegrown talents. They didn't go pluck Alistair Black out of, you know, acting classes and, and Buddy Murphy. They didn't just go find these guys and they just decided to become a wrestler. They've been wrestling for a long time. You know, they've made their names known all over the world. They've traveled. They've been in the indies for a while and they've done all those things. At least I know, you know, Tommy End has. And, you know, they kind of made a name for themselves to the point where WWE was like, damn, we gotta go get that guy. For Braun Strowman, I could be wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure that, you know, he's just been a body, you know, a bodybuilder and a power lifter and he's a freak. Like, he looks amazing. He's, like, just, like, he's definitely blessed, right? He's definitely, he's blessed with size, athleticism. He's, he's a monster. He's a legit monster, which makes him easy to book. He's a money printing machine, man, which makes him so crazy. Like, usually independent guys like Aleister Black and Buddy Murphy, I'm used to them getting released because, you know, WWE, they kind of float in nothingness. Some some of them will get pushed here and there. They may not make as much. They do this and they kind of squander their talents. Ricochet, Neville. I mean, there's so many different ones in the past. I'm surprised. You know, Finn Balor on the main roster. I mean, there's so many different examples that we can use in the past. But Braun Strowman is one of those guys that I'm pretty sure, you know, I'm pretty sure that Braun Strowman was like, he was like an actor pretty much. And, you know, he just decided to become a wrestler. He went to the Performance Center. He got better. He got bigger. They taught him how to be a wrestler. He had an athletic background, I'm sure, but they kind of, you know, they brought him up they created this character out of him and they made him into, you know, a superstar pretty much. His figures fly off shelves. His merch flies off shelves. Kids love him. He's 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 literally a, a superhero in his own right. Like, he's jacked. He's big. He's, uh, you know, I mean, there's so many things to say, but Braun Strowman really shocked me because of those reasons, you know? He is just one of those guys that's homegrown talent that you would never... Like, I can't see Braun Strowman going to the independent scene. I can't see him going to New Japan, you know? I don't see him going to AEW. Like, that just doesn't sit right with me, you know what I'm saying? He is a WWE guy. So I think that is why a lot of people are just stunned, me included. Like, that really shocked me. So, yes, Aleister Black sucks. Buddy Murphy sucks. Ruby Riot. All of them leaving absolutely sucks. I can't stand. Like, I hate that I'm not going to see them on my WWE television because they have so much potential. Like, imagine the like, Black and Murphy tore the house down on a couple of occasions. But those guys, I feel like, again, they can go work other places. Like, they have draw in those areas. And Braun 
Braun Strowman's gonna have draw. He will be fine. Like, I think if he never wrestled again, I could see him in Hollywood. I could see him doing all kinds of different things. Like, Braun Strowman's gonna be okay. He's a funny dude. He's got, he's jacked. He's, you know what I'm saying? He's gonna be taken care of, and the rest of them will be taken care of as well, but it does suck in these circumstances, you know, like that we won't see them on WWE television. I mean, Braun Strowman literally had a title match for the WWE Championship, not even like, what, 14, 15 days ago or something like that? And then Aleister Black, he had this new character coming. He had the vignettes. He had all these things. Murphy was just like, not too long ago, he was on TV like every single week and all these different things. So, I mean, so I don't know, man. It's just one of those crazy things. Like, wrestling is just a world in its own, right? And I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm just this big Braun Strowman fan because you guys know how I feel about Braun Strowman. Back in 27... Back in 2017, I was so high on the guy. I thought he was fantastic. Thought he should have been world champion. You know, he had all... He, it was the meteoric rise of Braun Strowman, the monster among men, right? He had all these different things going for him. I thought he should have been world champion multiple times. WWE farted with it, farted with it, farted with it, flirted with it, TikTok in front of his face, and they just would always yank the rug out from under him, give him this momentum, retake that momentum, bury him a little bit, make him do dumb things, knock things over, big, strong man, all these things. So, I'm not going to sit up here. You guys know I've loved loved Aleister Black and Buddy Murphy, so I am sad to see them go, but I'm not about to sit here and be like, oh my god, I just am gonna miss Braun Strowman, because you guys know that that's not the case. However, I am saddened that he doesn't have a job. I felt like he's always had a place in WWE because of just, the, he's the entertainment aspect, man. He can knock things over. He can do all these things. So he is something that I would never see getting released because of the value that that brings, but nobody's safe out here, bro. Nobody's safe out here. I don't know, I don't know who's next. I, I don't want it to be this Goldberg situation you know, like he's just a WWE plowing through the locker room, spearing people through lockers, talking about who's next and just releasing all these people. But I'm guessing this has to do something to do with like the Peacock and maybe the, you know, the New Japan stuff and like so many different aspects have taken a toll here. And it, they're obviously just cutting money where they think they can cut money. And that is what this these releases are. So that's what it comes down to, right? I don't think any of these people got in trouble, at least not at this moment. And I hope that I wish the best for these releases. I I'm going to be praying for them. I hope that they do things bigger and better. You know, I hope that, you know, they make their careers off of this release. I hope they go out and make more money and be more successful than they've ever been. And they and they absolutely shine. But I had to get on here and talk about this because this is just crazy, man. Like, that is a name that I don't think I would ever see. Like, it's not quite Roman Reigns, but it's kind of Roman Reigns. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's like a big star-studded name where it's like, wow, how, how in the hell did this happen? But we'll see where we go, man. Another thing I wanted to mention is we're now in not going to get the Braun Strowman bald elite probably. Uh, I know he has a basic coming soon. I don't know if that's going to happen now. Uh, Aleister Black, we just got a figure of him, so uh, we should be good on Aleister Black's. Lana, Buddy Murphy, that sucks. What, the one that really bothers me, man, is now we're not going to get the Ruby Riot WrestleMania gear, her and Liv Morgan. How beautiful were those attires? Now we don't see it. Now I got to get customs made, and it makes me sick. But, you know, at the end of the day, WWE is a business, and they got, I mean, they just, it, business is business. It sucks. It absolutely sucks, and I hate it, but at the end of the day, they are making cuts, and hopefully, you know, this is all that happens, but it feels like this year has just been crazy with the releases, man. Just bam, 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 bam. Wake up, another guy's gone. So, I don't know, man. That is uh, pretty much all that I have to say about the situation, but uh, if anything else happens, I'll definitely let you guys know. I think I have a surgery coming tomorrow, so definitely stay tuned for that, but uh, before we get out of here, Let's go ahead and get into our random shout out. Need something? No. The shout out is going to go to Kuji. Or is it Kalji? Kuji? Kuji Nakamura? That cane image looks like a kid that will just stare into your soul like he knows something special going on around and just ask, you got games on your phone? I don't know why that made me chuckle a little bit when I read that, but I was like, that's 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 funny right there. So huge shout out to Kuji or Kalji for that comment there. And yeah, man, that cane head sculpt is not good. If you guys missed our Jeff Hardy ultimate reveal, like the leaked image, definitely go check that out. As well as that basic cane head sculpt that I just absolutely had to take a deuce on because it just wasn't good but uh ha at the end of the day man nobody's safe not even you uh -huh.